Hey guys, I am over here. Come closer. I am the number one, and I am going to learn about line plots today. Would you like to learn about line plots with me? Great! Let's go over here to collect our data for the line plot. We are going to get our data by measuring the lengths of some objects that I have. We will then write the data we collect on a piece of paper and use that data to make a line plot. My friend Speedy will bring us some objects to measure. Here we have a pencil, and we need to measure the length. We will be measuring to the nearest whole number. Can you tell me the length of the pencil? The pencil is 6 inches long. Great job! Here we have a marker. How long is it? The marker is 6 inches long. Here we have a book that is 9 inches long. Hey Speedy, can you bring us one more thing? It looks like Speedy wants to be measured. What is the length of my friend Speedy? Speedy, it looks like you are 4 inches long. I have already measured several other objects before you got here, and I have all of our measurements included on this board. Each number is a measurement of the length of an object. We need to put this information into a line plot so we can see this more clearly. To start out the graph, we first need a title. What do you think we should call this line plot? Object measurements or colors? I agree, we should call it object measurements since it is about measurements of objects. Next thing we need when doing line plots is a straight line. All of our information we collected was measured in inches, so here to the side we will put inches. OK, here we have the numbers from 1 to 9 listed, so we can show our data. So now we look at our data to help us fill in the line plot. We can see that we only had one item that measured 2 inches, so we put 1x here to represent that item. We had two items that measured 3 inches. So we have two x's on top of each other to represent those two items. There were three items that measured four inches, so we have three x's on top of each other. We had four items that measured six inches, so we put those x's down as well. We only had one object that measured nine inches, so just one x. This is awesome, guys. We just made a line plot that shows the measurements of the objects that I had. When we see a mark above a number, it tells us how many times that number occurs. For example, we can see that above the 4 we see 3 x's, which means there were 3 objects that measured 4 inches long. So with this information, can you guys tell me how many objects did we have that measured 6 inches long? Great job! We had four items and we can see that in this line plot. We look at the six and above the number we see four x's, which represent the four items that measured six inches. Great job, guys. Thanks for your help. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.